welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining the best and the easiest way to download windows 7 iso and create a windows 7 bootable usb so the process will be very simple and if you want to create a bootable usb for windows 7 then just apply these few simple steps and you will not be having any kind of problem first what you will have to do you will have to come to this website of rufus which is a very popular tool to create any kind of bootable USB with a lot of advanced option. So once you come up here, you have to scroll down a bit and here you'll find Rufus 4.2.exe. Click on it. The downloading will be started. Once it get downloaded, you need to click on it. Click on yes. And this kind of Rufus box will be popping up. Now here at the very top, you will find the device option. And this will display your pen drive or USB drive that you have connected to your computer. So it will automatically detect it. So make sure that it's the right USB that you want to create a bootable drive. And in case if it doesn't detect, then make sure that you have connected your pen drive. Close it and reopen it again. Then below it says boot selection. So here you have to locate to the Windows 7 ISO image. So in order to download the ISO image, you will be getting a link in the description. Simply copy and paste. Hit the enter key. Click on go to site. And this will start downloading the Windows 7 ISO. So you can just wait until it gets downloaded. I have already downloaded it. So let me show you how exactly it works. So in the board selection, I will click on select. And here I have Windows 7 ISO. So I will select it. Then click on open. And once I click on open, everything will be automatically detected. So you don't have to make any changes here. Simply click on start. And now it says warning all data on the device will be deleted. So if you have any kind of data on this pen drive, make sure that you take the backup because it will be wiping out all the data inside the pen drive. So click on OK. And the process will be started and it will take some time. So let's wait until it's all been completed. Alright, so finally the process has been completed and it just took about few minutes only. So now what you will have to do, click on close. And now if I bring up my file explorer, so you can see my USB pen drive has been now converted to bootable Windows 7 USB. And if I make a double click on it, so you can see I, I can find all the Windows 7 file over here. So now it's ready to go. Now you have to simply connect to any computer, boot with the pen drive and you are ready to install Windows 7 or troubleshoot Windows 7 operating system. Okay, so for the demo purpose, I will show you that how exactly it works. So I will connect this pen drive to my virtual machine. So let me connect it. And you also need to do the same. You need to connect this pen drive bootable USB to the computer where you want to install Windows 7. Then you need to restart the computer and restart the computer in the BIOS mode. So you can use the shortcut key for opening the BIOS that can be delete, escape, F10, F12. So depending on your motherboard manufacturer, you need to use the BIOS key and then you have to come to the BIOS. And once the BIOS comes up, you have to select the USB device that you have created as a bootable USB from the boot priority or the boot sequence. Select it, hit the enter key. And this time you can see that it's coming with Windows is loading file that indicate that it's going to install Windows 7. Okay, so that's all guys for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you really found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.